There's nothing worse than buying something you think is legit and then realizing you've wasted your money on a fake. The number of fake crocs or croc offs on the market is rising. Hi, I'm Lorna from WebblyWeird.com and I'm a crocs fanatic and a footwear blogger. I recently made the mistake of getting a fake pair of crocs. I thought I was getting a sweet deal on eBay, but if things are super low priced and look too good to be true, they generally are. I don't want the same thing to happen to you, so in this video I've put together five ways that you can tell the difference between real and fake crocs. Number one, check the logo on your crocs. Your crocs should feature this iconic little crocodile called Duke on the strap toggle like they do on these real ones here. If the strap toggle is blank and there's just nothing there, the crocs are fake. Duke the crocodile should have two eyes six even bumps on his back, with the fourth bump from the top a little bit bigger, and two hands with three fingers on each. If you see a little crocodile with a missing bump or an extra finger, then he's a Duke wannabe. <laughs> Number two, check the Crocs outsole. Real Crocs should have the following information stamped on the outsole. The Crocs brand name with the little TM symbol the sizing information, the official Crocs webpage address, and the origin of production, which is Boulder, Colorado. If the shoes are missing the details like this fake pair here, well, they're fake. Crocs outsole should also feature a tread pattern that looks quite similar to the arrangement of veins in a leaf. If they don't have this tread pattern, they're fake. This fake pair, however, has a really convincing leaf-like pattern, but as you can see, it's not the exact same as the real pair. It has lots of little nodules all over it that shouldn't be there. And if you can see these little squares at the bottom here on Crocs look quite chunky, on the fakes they look quite small. Side note, make sure you're always buying your Crocs from their official store, which I have linked down in the description for you. That way you know you're not going to get duped into buying a counterfeit pair. Number three, check the number of holes on your Crocs. Real Crocs should always have 13 drainage holes on top of the shoe, any more or any less than that, and they're fakes. As you can see here, the fake pair have 15 holes and the real thing have 13. Pause the video to count if you really want to. <laughs> number four, check the material your Crocs are made with. Crocs should feel flexible and should bend when in your hands, which you can see on the real pair. With the fakes, however, they're really stiff. Like that takes way more effort to bend than the real thing. Real Crocs are made with a closed cell resin material called Croslite that is kind of flexible and foamy feeling. It feels smooth and has a slight smell of plastic that isn't really noticeable unless you get right up to it. These fakes, on the other hand, absolutely stink of plastic. I was actually really knocked back when I opened the packaging. It's really unpleasant. <laughs> Number five, check the Crocs strap. Your Crocs should feature the Crocs logo on the strap like this real pair do here. On the fakes, you can see this is just totally missing. If you are still worried about identifying fake Crocs, I have linked to the description an additional five ways that you can spot fakes.